I was trying to look cool. It didn't really work. Yeah. <laughs> Why did I feel the need to put on a leather jacket? Just because everyone's wearing leather in Shadow Hunters, which I still can't get into. Everyone seems to love this show, and I. Or at least watch it. I don't know if they actually love it or if there's some sort of. But the books were good. I liked the books a lot when I read them a while ago. And I didn't mind the movie. I remember being mildly annoyed with some aspects, probably for not being close enough to the books. Oh my gosh, this is like squeaky. How are they supposed to like fight in all of the leather that they supposedly wear? I That's a, that's a theory for another day, but <laughs> it just, it feels a little basic to me. Like every plot line is spoon fed to the, like it gives me soap opera vibes now i'm i have nothing against soap operas but if you want to watch soap operas watch soap operas if you want to watch like fantasy I, I just feel like it should be a different should be a different thing it should be a different thing for me personally at least because the fantasy that i like watching isn't just doesn't give me soap opera vibes the the way that the characters explain what's going on the aspects of plot that are just sort of like skipped over uh personally i i rather liked winks i think it is but uh i feel like a lot of the ya that gets grouped into fantasy is sort of has similar issues i liked fort salem um none of them became like my absolute all-time yes i love it amazing but they were they were good and i haven't been able to watch a whole series of shadow hunters which is surprising it also gives me vampire diaries though the the that show was a little more complicated and i don't, I don't know i haven't watched all of that either the things that it has in common but with shadow hunters the aspects that i remember loving from the books just like kind of don't have the same vibe don't have the same feeling oh my gosh this jacket's so squeaky uh but the characters i they like they do their job and i'm here for magnus in just a, a warlock immortal glows blue yes that's great and i like harry shum jr but uh I just, the way that I imagine the characters when reading the books, just, it falls so flat for the, <laughs> watching the, and I don't, I don't have anything against uh, the actors, I don't know if all of them were who I would have chosen to be cast, it's mostly the writing, the writing is, like, not expecting anything of the audience, not, at, like, everything is just, like, easy access, easy, easy, it's like easy listening. It's easy, easy watching, but this isn't meant to be like a sitcom where you can just like leave it on and know what's going on or like watch whenever. It's not that kind of story. So I really don't understand. I Okay. I, maybe I'm judging too soon. I, I've watched like the first episode, some of the second episode, and then I skipped to like episode 12 or something because I do remember the plots of the books. And I, I noticed that they were kind of falling close enough that I wasn't going to be like, who the, what happened? But I think what I didn't like about the movie was that there, it was missing so much of the story that I liked and I just hoped that they had added sequels. But then because of the way they formatted the movie, this is just what I'm vaguely remembering from when it came out. The enough of the plot from all of the books was sort of smacked, packed schmacked was just compressed into the movie so I felt like we were missing a lot of the like lead it lead up a lot of the like for foreshadowing feel where you get excited for things to come or worry for things to come and it was just all there in that one movie and they didn't have other movies which I guess is probably why the series got made and I, I I'm not knocking it but I just, it's not for me, and I, 
I don't know. It's such a strange thing because I really, I was, I was hoping, I love, like, books like this were my jam. This and, like, Septimus Heap and Percy Jackson and um, Aragon and, heck, even S Series of Unfortunate Events. I'm going to loop that in the same category just because the vibes, it's completely different stories, but the, the vibes are related. There's also... I'm totally forgetting the name of one of my my favorites that there was there were it was I don't think it was the Spiderwick Chronicles but it gave me similar it had similar plots and things and I'd love to see that kind of like Septimus Heap I want that where's the movies for those those were great books and I I was into those before I knew what the Harry I knew what the Harry Potter books were but before I had read Harry Potter or watched any of the movies Septimus Heap was my jam and I just so unimpressed and with how everyone talked about how much they love the Shadowhunters TV show or at least how many people I've heard talking about watching it because when I think back now not everyone said that they loved it no one's really said much about but they, they're addicted that's for sure the runes too no one has enough runes and they all all the they look different in different shots and i think they were trying to show that like some are like old tattoos that have been there for years and some are like new i, I don't know but it's different in like every shot the same runes are there but they it's just distracting to me and i feel like no one has enough runes which is probably just for ease of like applying to make up and whatever but <sighs> I was excited when I wanted it to be better R.I.P. <laughs> R.I.P. B. I didn't get to watch and love it but it's, it's a good thing it exi maybe more people will read and love the books because it certainly has a broader audience well TV in general has a broader audience I don't know about the specific statistics but I might keep attempting just so I can have a real opinion of it or not or I just decide it's not for me and that's okay too <laughs> Shadowhunters